partially. I'm not taking credit for this one, Nick. Because I found it on IAPN. So I'm just... Uh, something other wrong? Something no. All right. Oh, wait, I didn't start at my beginning. Oh, today. There's, there's Nick. <laughs> today, I have a Hyundai Santa Fe 2.7 liter. And as, not always, but most of the time, there's a check engine light on sideways. And like I said, I'm not, I'm not taking credit for this one. I think it's, what is it, 2008? Um, I ran an emission test. It's October of 15 and the stickers are October of 15, so it needs done. So what I have here is a 2187, a 2188, and a 2189. The uh, 87, where's my finger? System Lean Bank 1, 88 is System Rich Bank 1, and uh, 89 is System Lean Bank 2. And sometimes, you know, when you see the, the manufacturer specific codes up in the, you know, 2000s or whatever, it's beyond the System Lean 171, 174s. They're, they're done uh, learning and they're like almost, well, I think there really is a, a O2 sensor fixed lean code as well. But when it's done learning, it'll switch usually from the 170s series up to the manufacturer specifics. But either way, I have two system leans and system rich. So, of course, the first thing I'm thinking is a vacuum leak because it says, I think it specifies lean at idle. I'll have to look it up on Mitchell. I can get a grab of that real quick. All right, so I don't know if his screen will come up good. But the 2188 System 2 Richard Idle. And then if I go back to why I'm showing the tracks program. 21, where it is, 2188 System 2 Rich, where my cursor is. Try to bring that out a little bit. 2187 system to lean at idle and 2189 system to lean and idle bank one and two so um, like I said you know these are the more manufacturer specific if you get up even higher you have the 2195 and that's stuck lean so it's not even switching anymore but I still think you still have the 170s yes yeah, so you still have your basic 171 so anyway it bypassed that and I'm all the way up to the the next level of lean I suppose so um, you know sometimes when you see the you know lean at idle or stuck lean and a rich I've seen oxygen sensors stick you know what I mean and you could think that but when I saw the bank 2 also system lean I figured you know, just check out my scan data. I'm probably going to give it away with what I'm looking at here, but that's fine. I don't need to make this video that long. This has to do with the canister purge. And like I said to, before, I'm not going to take credit for this. I was, uh, I ran the emission test and I was waiting to get my rack open. I decided to just pull it up on IATN and sure enough, it showed up under, uh, Kia and Hyundai with the system leans, not with the system rich. Um, had to do with the purge valve sticking open, which this one has. So I'll show that real quick. Show the part and the repair, and this one will be done. Um, but you can see I'm actually, there's a purge control right now, and I graphed it just so you could see, you know, the purge, been, it's been constantly clicking. Uh, every once in a while it quits, and when it does quit, I can, uh, it was just easier. See, it's buried under here. I have it back probed. You can probably hear it clicking. I have my wire running there down to the actual purge valve. It's just a cylindrical. I'll pull the air boot out of the way and we'll look at it when I do it. But 
Okay, see it quit right there. Now I'm at 0%. You can see I'm, my long-term fuel trim is going to happen real quick. I'm going to have to catch this a couple times. It goes back to purge pretty quick. There it goes back up to 3.9%. But you can see my long-term and short-terms, you know, are high. I got 22% on the long, and the shorts here are, you know, 7, 7 to 10%. So it's running system lean right now at idle. And a lot of the easy tests to do is just grab a pair of pliers and pinch off vacuum lines if you don't hear anything, if you have a booster leaking or something like that. But I actually reached down, let's see if I can get down in there, and I pinched off that line where I'm pointing to my pliers, and that's the actual purge vapor line. So I'll get down there, I'm gonna pinch it off, and you can you can watch it happen. Let me get set up here. All right, so, so I have my long needle nose down there and I'm gonna be squeezing that line. You can even hear the engine change whenever I do it. Now, if you watch my fuel trims, it's still purging. And you can see I'm at, you know, my 17 um, positive uh, long term. And if I, you know, can only see on my old scanner, my short term only one of them but you can see my bank one go into minus 18 minus 17 so it's like it's directly opposite so my vacuum leak if you will is through the purge now you can see it's not purging right now and it well then now it started again so i don't know if this software and this system is able to tell like some of the other cars that you have purge flow during a non-purge event the 1400 whatever codes or whatever i saw on a couple gms and some toyotas i think um so i'm not quite sure if this one is if it's purging so much because it's looking for tank pressure change because when i pinch it off see the 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 one at 1.0 let me let off again so with the purge flow, I have 1.0, I don't know even what that reading is. If it's a voltage or a percentage, I'm not even sure, but you can see I have 1.0 when I pinch it off and I make my short term start to go negative to counteract the positive long terms, I go to a minus 0.5 on the tank pressure. So for an evap system code maybe it's not even running it with the system leans it you know because this came from a garage their first their first uh avenue of attack is clear the codes and ship the car and then if it comes back deal with it which kind of puts me at a disadvantage when i'm trying to do my diagnostic end here um see i let go i let my long terms go down to near zero and my short terms are real high so it'll start learning that short term pretty quick probably and start adapting my long term there it goes up to 12 already it's not purging right now and one more time pinch it off idle changes i even started purging again but i'm going negative so there's there's my problem um it's kind of as simple as that so um like I said, when I was underneath the car, just because it's hard to get to that vacuum line, I'll show you what I was doing here. All right, when I was under the car, just because it's hard to get to the purge valve and I wanted to check it real quick, I took the little plastic skid shield off of the canister and there was another little clip there, but just to pull the purge line off and you can hear it sounding like a helicopter and I just sat here for a while waiting for it to not purge and then see if I had vacuum because here of course you know I'm gonna have vacuum but when it quits I could get a gauge on it too but you'll probably hear it sucking past my finger whenever it quits so it's just an easy test instead of getting getting to the uh, all the stuff and graph and everything, it sounds like it might be a common problem on these. So, 
you know, if you just pull this off and wait for it to quit sounding like the helicopter and stick your finger in there and see if there's vacuum. So we'll just sit here and wait. There you go, it stopped. And you can hear, hear me just jam my finger in there and it's, it's got vacuum without purge, just the mechanical test, the finger test. So that's that. So I'm just gonna fix it tomorrow. Probably end up just doing a waiver on it because there's only a couple days um, left of the month and I think the part's like 80 or 90 bucks hours diagnostic and labor. I'm way over my 150 waiver limit so I can issue a sticker on it and give them some value for it and actually fix the car. So be back tomorrow. All right, so anyway, real quick, my theory here, uh, someone let me know if they have any experience with these, but the middle one, the 2788, the system rich uh, bank one or whatever, I'm guessing that bank two is not too far behind, and I'm wondering if, you know, during maybe a, uh, you know, maybe when they filled up with gas, or you know during a, a long period of time where it didn't purge and the canister was saturated and it wasn't calling for purge control that that vacuum leak pulling you know actual vapors out of the canister instead of just pretty much fresh air once it gets you know purged of all the vapors that it could in theory set a system rich code um, intermittent so that's my theory behind that one. I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't show back up in another form. Um, it wouldn't matter because I'm fixing a problem I see anyway, but I like things to be just done and gone. So uh, that's my theory behind that, that loan system rich code. And the other one is since they cleared the codes, you know, before I got it, is there a chance that it had a purge you know, a, a, a purge code, you know, incorrect purge flow or something like that, or if this car even supports that. Actually, I could check that. Let's go back over to Mitchell. That tripod I should be using. I think on the GMs it's 14. 1440 something. Let's see if we get a any 14 codes. I don't see any 14 codes. That doesn't mean it's not there. And a different. I don't see any of those. So maybe it doesn't have a test for that internally. Throttle position. No. Any, you got EVAP system canister clogging. I'd imagine that would be a high vacuum signal that doesn't go away whenever it opens the vent and closes the purge off. No, clogging, too rich. So it might not, I don't know. If someone knows, let me know. Because I'm always interested in learning too. Once again, I'll be back tomorrow, hopefully with the part in the morning. Show you where it's at, put it in, watch my fuel trims equalize, be done. All right, so here's the replacement part for the Santa Fe. Another Dorman part number. <clears throat> I know a lot of you guys don't like Dorman, but I think everything's junk nowadays, so. And this one failed at 70,000, so what the heck, right? I think this was 70 bucks. Made in China. But that's the purge valve, so. Why you go over here. Took the uh, air cleaner, moved it out of the way, right below the throttle body. 
that's the purge valve right there they give you the two new clamps in the inner hose going to the intake manifold so I'm gonna fight those clamps off of there put this piece in plug it in and hopefully watch my fuel trims even out so good thing they give you the hose with it because that's what happens when it comes off the uh, tab that this slides on you got to put it on and slide it back and then feed this up in there so to try to get this hose off the elb or the you know the pipe sticking off the engine to get this off to allow this to slide back towards it it just rips everything so somebody was thinking ahead so I have it in I'm gonna just put the air cleaner back on and we'll hook up the scanner all right I have um, scanner hooked back up same parameters keys on you can see my learn fuel trim is still at 22 percent and my short term is it you know it's in of course an open loop so let's see what happens all right got it running I didn't uh, tag my loop status so it's still an open loop so we'll just watch for the short term to start changing O2's heated up, it's already changed and it's probably in closed loop now. You can see it's going negative. Pretty much equal to the amount of positive on the long term. Right now it's dropping a little bit. So it should start learning here shortly and start dropping the long term. You can see it's even while it's purging, it's learning so the 3.9 percent whatever purge i was probably more like a hundred percent purge with my vacuum leak so pretty confident that's just going to be it you know what i mean i do have my theory on the system rich code so if you guys have any input but i'm pretty much betting that when the canister was saturated and it was purging when it shouldn't have been it would set a rich code the same way it would set a lean code just pulling fumes so there you go call that a fix i can run my emission test light probably won't go out for a couple drive cycles so i'll end up just doing a waiver but that's it thanks for watching There you go. After about five minutes of running, it already brought me down to, that brought me to negative six. So, ah, cue the compressor. So, we'll call this one fixed.